So this is for anybody who's more curious about this lawnmower. Uh, this conversion was quite easy because I already had all the parts and I just had to transfer them. So if you followed any of my other videos, you would know that I really like the box, but the box just seems stupid to do in this one because I don't have a controller. The only main component is a contactor, which is in the back there behind the battery. And I'll show you that shortly. I'm going to slide this battery out just a little bit. I just have it in with the bungee. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to slide it out and bring you back. Go. All right, so I've slid it out just enough so you can see behind where the battery was. There's my contactor back there. Sorry, the video is really bright over there. I guess the sun's shining in. And I have my main emergency switch here. As you can see, it's wired in. The main lead comes off of a volt, uh, fuse that goes straight to the uh, positive lead. The chassis is 48 volt grounded, so uh, I could technically run a whole lot of things off of the chassis, but I choose not to. And I don't, I don't know, I just choose to do it that way. My bracket system, or battery mount, is custom because you can tell my welds are crap. I have no welding experience. I was just given a MIG welder and figured, hey, this would be a good use for that. So, <laughs> you can tell that it looks like crap. But, it holds a lot of weight. I haven't had any problems with it. There is no wobble to this mount. It is adjustable. I, I made a two-part mount. Uh, it's held in with these 3 8 uh, bolts, and if I ever need to take the battery out and get to the motor, I can take the battery off, pull these bolts, slide this up, and undo the four bolts to hold the motor in and pull the motor out. I have a 12 volt down converter, or a 48 volt down converter back there to give me 12 volts. That leads into a, a bus of uh, leads in the front. And those leads are then passed to the various switches and mechanisms that need 12 volts. PTO switch being one of them. So this guy up here on this mower does not engage unless the motor is running. So that's positive there. Uh, my lights, which are 12 volts, uh, they do function. So it's good for nighttime. And I, like I said in the previous video, I even have the hour gauge working because it's 12 volts. It doesn't really run anything off the engine. I have the... A BMS I got off of eBay, functioning, perfect, haven't had a problem with it. It's the same one I've had in all the conversions, but uh, now that I have two, they are wired in parallel. So these are two 48 volt packs you can see, and then I have the positive lead from this pack going to the positive lead from this pack, and the negative lead from this pack to the negative lead of that pack. And all of these balance wires are also parallel to each other, and then fed into this board here that maintains my voltage where it should be. Uh, really, that's about it. It's really nice tractor. It's nice to have one that has a hood and looks like an actual lawnmower and doesn't look like the neighbors looking at you funny. Um, can't close the hood right now. I got the battery slid out. I'll have to slide it back in. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I did have my first experience with a tire uh, valve not working. The The valve got plunged inside and then when I put it back, it was actually punctured, so I couldn't use that valve. Ended up having to put a new valve in after figuring out how to get the tire off of the rim. But that's really not what my channel is about. I like to do the fun stuff. That wasn't very fun. <laughs> so I don't think there's anything. Oh, yeah, I have the charging port over there. Low amperage wires because I'm only putting four amps into it max from my charger. I run this thing overnight, let it charge, so it doesn't matter to me. What do you mow your lawn twice a week or something? Maybe less. Yeah. Everything else about it works. I have not wired in the safety switches though. So if I wire the safety switches, they'll go in line with my key switch, and that'll turn it on and off. Depend like if the chair went off or something, or if the blades are engaged in the wrong moment. You know, you don't want to run away mower. That'd be bad. Anyway, thank you for watching.